Hello and welcome to The Cotton Cast, where we're joined today by Giovanni Manzoni, who's the COO of Replay. First of all, Giovanni, happy birthday to Replay. It is, of course, the brand's 30th anniversary. Could you give me a little bit of background about the brand's history? Replay has been a 30 years company, which born from a company who create and develop the denim business in Italy. This company was called Genius Group. Claudio Buzzol was the founder of uh, Replay and the developer of the brand within Genius Group. Then the company was split and Buzzol developed by himself uh, Replay. Uh, joined Replay when the, uh, Matteo Sinigaglia bought the company. So why was it so important for Replay to become a Cotton USA licensee? When a uh, couple of years ago, the custom price started to grow quite fast, which was a problem all over the world. I was trying to taste a different way to do business because I believe the American culture is still a plus compared to general countries or East Fabrics and so on. We have a different market approach about the product. We care much more compared to quality, to washes, to details, compared to other brands who decide to do differently. Okay? We were looking for an uncommon uh, partnership. So basically, we tried to gain an advantage for both companies. The result on the retail part of our product developed together. I think uh, Cotton USA Mark is uh, plus uh, to our production, our collection, because uh, people know where the material is coming from. We utilize the experience of uh, American Cotton to develop competitive fabrics in terms of uh, quality at a reasonable price. And so which of your ranges feature the Cotton USA mark? We decided to put the logo in the pocket because we believe it was an upgrade of the final items. And we decided to develop our 30 years anniversary denim utilizing the American fabric because we were the first denim company to utilize that denim in Europe. And can you tell me how the market's changed for you over the last couple of years? <laughs> a lot. Okay, number one is a big opportunity. Because, at least in Europe, many brands went uh, out of business because of uh, not solid uh, foundation. I believe people recognize a quality product if it's capable to give you an emotion. I mean, you buy something because it gives you an emotion, right? So uh, the quality product, compared to many others in the market, generally have a, a good result in these last two years. For sure, quality is becoming a key factor to have a good result in the market. Two, three, four years ago, you were able to develop a collection one year before the goods were on sale. In two and a half months, we need to be from the designer table into the store, no matter where you produce. A million years ago, when I started working, you had uh, three months holiday between a collection and another one. In our days, you have a collection and you can keep on sending to your retail new development, new ideas to keep alive your point of sale. And how does Replay keep fresh? How do you maintain your innovation? Okay, in my opinion, the key factors are, number one, to have a very close team from designer to production to marketing or to retail. Because you need to understand what the market needs you need to cooperate with production and product development to be able to create these kind of needs and to deliver to the market. 